I don't think there's any way I can escape the US election this week, so I figured I might as well roll with the theme. Today's quick tip includes a preset that I created a little while ago around the concept of the typical US electoral map. And the way I did this was first by getting the state outlines in Illustrator and bringing those into Cinema 4D and setting them up as individual extrudes for each individual state. And I named each of those with the state's two letter abbreviation. I dropped all of those into a fracture object so that we could control them with MoGraph. And I've created some effectors here so that we can, for instance, animate these states onto the screen. We can adjust the angle of that animation and as well as the position, scale, and rotation, the depth of the uh, individual extrudes as well as the fillet style can all be controlled here through user data that's piped in to the various parameters through Expresso. And of course you can animate this simply by clicking the dots next to each of the parameters. But the real interesting part of this preset is the state groups. And I set this up so that we could have four different groups of states and you could define each state group simply by including the state's two letter abbreviation in a comma separated list. So for instance, if we want to move Ohio here from group three into group two, we can simply remove it from group three states and move it up here into the group two states. And now Ohio is a blue state. So I set up four groups. I'm not quite sure why we have four groups because of course in the United States we're stuck with only two parties. Maybe it was wishful thinking. But we do have the ability down here within the groups to adjust the color and offset of each group. So for instance, I can tweak the color of the red states uh, or the blue states. I can also come down here, say I wanna make the yellow states not yellow but purple. And uh, I also have the ability to adjust the effector strength as well as the offset. So here I've set up Texas in group four. It also happens to be in group one, which is why it is currently red. But I've set it up so that we can change its color to white and move it forward in the Z axis. So as we adjust the group four strength here, we can make Texas big and highlight it. Now, really the way I'm accomplishing all of this is through MoGraph selections. So each of these groups has a respective MoGraph selection tag here. You can see group one, group two, group three, and group four. And we have effectors here that are tied to each of those MoGraph selections. Now you could use the MoGraph selection tool to adjust these selections, but I wanted to be able to do it with the actual state abbreviations. So in Expresso, I used a special coffee node that I wrote to convert the comma separated values into the individual MoGraph selection tags. So let's just look quickly at how this works. For each group, I'm getting the fractures MoGraph data in order to determine the total count of states, even though I know it should be 50. And I am using that in order to determine my iteration length. And this iteration node is going to output each value between zero and the total number of fractured elements. And what I'm doing then is feeding that into a coffee node. This coffee node is looping through all of the objects that are children of the state's fracture. And it's checking to see if that object's name matches or is within the comma separated list in the user data. And so that's what this string string function right here is doing, or str str. And if it matches, it's actually outputting or setting the select output node to true, which then feeds into the select attribute of a MoGraph selection node in order to add this object to the selection. I'm not going to get too much deeper into how that works. Feel free to dig into the preset itself for more information, or if you need me to explain something specifically a little bit clearer, post in the Cineversity forums, and I will cover it in a future quick tip. Basically, just wanted to show you that this was possible. You can dig into the coffee script and figure out how to utilize this for yourself, but ultimately, I wanted to give you a preset that you might be able to use this week. Take care, everyone. I hope we all make it through this week. And assuming we do, I'll have another quick tip for you next week.